Welcome back to another video. Today I have a, another test for Ariel. You think you know everything about Pal Vista, right? You think you know every character in Pal Vista? You're about to see every character and you're about to tell me what their name is. Ready? Okay. What is the name of this NPC in Pal Vista? Skeleton. Correct. What is the name of this NPC in Pal Vista? Knights. Okay. What's the name of this NPC in Pal Vista? Goblin. What about this NPC? <laughs> the fake cat. Prowler. Oh, I don't really go to that area. Um, that is the... Um, it's on the tip of my tongue. The sp <laughs> Not the spinster. <laughs> it's actually a good name. <laughs> Um, last chance five. Oh no, um, I, the web, the webster, it's the silken. That's the name. Okay, up next, can you name this one? Oh, the lava ones are hard because they all look the same to me. Um, d um, dead rot. This is a volcano golem. Okay, up next, what do we have here? Oh, the <laughs> the birchwood. Briarwood, Briarwood. That's correct. That goes way back. What about this one? <laughs> the burn rot. Correct. Yes, yes. What about this one? Fay. Girl. Woman. <laughs> I don't know. Think Ada Leaf. Oh, Fay Leaf. That's correct. She okay. Is what is the next what is the name of this next NPC that I will show you now? Fire Skelly. Ten. Just fire, fire skelly. skelly. That's correct. What about this one? Um, Attack on Titan. <laughs> <laughs> um, burn body. Flesh creature. Okay. What up? What is the name of this NPC? Ooh. Um, Green Knight. Forest Knight. <laughs> What about the name of this NPC? <laughs> that looks so silly. Um, Goatman. Correct. Oh, okay. Up next, what is the name of this NPC? Oh, construction worker. Oil worker. Oil worker. Darn. I knew that. Up next, what is the oh, name of this NPC? Tory Thug. Right. What is the name of this NPC in Pal Vista? Tory Warrior. Excellent. You're a woman of the Tory. What is the name of this NPC in Pal Vista? Turtle Warrior. Correct. What is the name of this NPC in Pal Vista? Dark Knight. Volcano Knight. Oh. Volcano Knight. What is the name of this NPC in Pal Vista? Uh, I just want to call every single one of them Burn Rot. <laughs> um, Volcano Golem. Wait, no, that was the other one. Um. <laughs> Last chance? Burn something. Volgob. Oh my gosh. And now, what is the name of this NPC? Oh. And what if 15 of them get sent your way? <laughs> it's a werewolf. Okay, I great. Like 13 of them sent my way. What is the name of this NPC in Bavista? Zombie. All right, good job. Now, what I'm going to do next, this one's a little tricky. So, Pal Vista is about to have pals added to the game and every NPC will have a one in 100 chance of dropping an egg that you have to hatch. But each egg is gonna look like the NPC, so it's gonna be nice and cute. But I wanna show you each egg and you're gonna guess which NPC it applies to. Okay, let's see how many of these you can get right. Okay, there's 21. How many do you think you're gonna get right? 10. Okay, here we go. Let's shoot for 10. Oh my gosh. Um. Hmm. This one's probably the hardest one. Do you want me to just tell you this one? No, no, no. Um, uh, Fay Leaf. So sad. No, this is a Tory Warrior egg. Oh, I know. Why is it purple? Its eyes are are uh, pink. Oh. Okay. Let's do this one next. Uh, Briarwood. You are right. Up next, what egg does this one apply to? Um. Hmm. 
Um, Which NPC will drop this egg in Pal Vista? The flesh one. Flesh body. Remember your favorite name for the volcano NPC? Oh, Burn Rot. That's right. Up next, which NPC will drop this egg in Pal Vista? Uh, Fay Leaf. Correct. Which NPC will drop this egg in Pal Vista? A silken. This one is Volcano Skeleton. I know it's a little tricky. Now, what about this egg? Um, flesh. The flesh one. Flesh creature? Yeah. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> So which one was would... <laughs> good job, good job. <laughs> um, silken. Oh. No? It's so sad because if you saw the silken one, you would you you wouldn't be guessing, you wouldn't be wasting guesses on other people. No, this one is actually, I hate to say it because it was so hard to do this one. This is goat man. Oh, I see. Because it's the same yeah. color as the horns and the yeah, fur. Yeah, yeah. What about this one? Goblin. Correct. What about this one? <laughs> a knight. Can I tell you who gave me the idea to do that? Ezra. It was Ezra. Before it was just like a silver egg <laughs> with like shiny, you know, uh -huh. but he's like, it needs to be, and I had to change the whole UV mapping to oh. make it possible to do that. But he's like, first he wanted the little frill thing on the helmet <laughs> yeah. to be on the egg. But I said, what about like the knight skateboard cross That's being so on it? Funny. And Ada funny. was like, like dog piling on me with him saying, you have to do that. <laughs> You have to do that, Dad. And then I was like, that's a lot of work. And he's like, you have to work hard, Dad. <laughs> so Sorry. there you go. So I spent a whole day designing eggs when I have wow. 100,000 other things I need to do. Okay, what about this one? Um, what NBC one. will drop this egg for their pal? Oh, um, oil worker. Correct. I think you're going to get a lot of these. Okay. What NPC will drop this egg for their pal. Hmm. Silken. <laughs> no, werewolf. Werewolf. I'll be honest. I don't even know which one this is. How is this? Which one is this? How do I not know which one this is? Okay, wait, let me zoom in real quick. Oh my gosh, this is Prowler. Do you oh. remember what Prowler was? Yeah, but I would not expect i thought it'd be more like furry colorful prowler was like a gray cat i know but she has little stuff in her ear should i make little green dots on this one maybe well it's too late now sorry i'll change it some other time <laughs> okay what about this one um do you have brain rot <laughs> um Oh, silken. Yes. I'm okay. Sorry, Gosh. Not... What about oh, this one? Tory Thug. Yep. What NPC in Pal Vista will have this as its egg? Turtle Warrior. Correct. What NPC in Pal Vista will drop this egg for its pal? Volglob. No. Volcano Golem. Darn. What about this one? <laughs> uh, Volcano Knight. Yes. What about this one? Volglob. Volgob, yes. Oh. What about this one? Um, hmm. Oh, zombie. Stop. Werewolf. Correct. And? Zombie. Which is funny. I think it defaulted to like alphabetical order towards the end because this yeah. one was also werewolf and zombie oh. at the end. But anyway. I didn't even notice. So. Ariel, I'm going to have to tally up your score because it was so complicated, but I think you did like more than 50%, correct? Yay. What do you think about that? I do know the NPCs pretty well. Yeah. What do you think is the first PAL that you want to get in PAL Vista? I've been thinking about that. I don't know. Um, maybe hmm, Maybe um, the Fey Leaf or Prowler because they're really cute. That's cool. Now, we are trying to figure out what things we can get in before we release PALs. Can I just ask you real quick? Would it be important, more important to you that your pal can do things for you, like chop trees, fight for you, et cetera, or just having the ability to have multiple pals, so like a train of 10 pals following you around, if you had to pick one? Uh, the first one. 
you'd like to just have one little buddy. Yeah. And I'm gonna assume they're gonna die, right? They're gonna die. How would they die? In combat, they get hit. And so when they die, what should happen? I don't know. They drop your stuff. They drop their like stuff? Whatever stuff they have, just like you. How many inventory slots should a pal have? Five. Should a pal be able to wear a legendary hoodie if you give it to it? <laughs> um, no. Should a pal be able to equip whatever skateboard you give it? No. Should a pal be able to indefinitely chop trees for you while you're offline? If it can hold the space. Can it bank for you? No. Wait, I don't know. It's kind of, I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Like you come back the next day and it's just been banking 10,000 <laughs> oak logs for you? It's kind of crazy. Um, I don't know. It would have its own experience, by the way. It has its own level. Oh. It's kind of weird. It's giving my robot. What would you name your Prowler or Fayleaf Pal? I don't know. Would it be hard to come up with a name? Yeah. Girl. Should we have like auto generated names? Mm. No, I think people could come up with their own names. Sounds it's good. On the spot. It's kind of hard. I agree. <laughs> you come up with a name. Um, What's your spell? Mine has got to be a Tory thug, and I would name it Thugalicious. <laughs> <laughs> You'd always obviously have to like censor, make sure people don't name weird stuff. I'm not saying Thugalicious is weird, but <laughs> <laughs> it's on it's on the edge. But I want people to see Thugalicious walking around doing things that for me. That'd be actually really funny. That'd be. But really I want Thugalicious to also be followed by his own pal. Actually, I want I want the oil worker because he's just a worker. <laughs> he's already a worker. <laughs> he's just getting oil for you. <laughs> And I'll name him um, Oilicious. <laughs> Just kidding. Should you like be able to pack his lunch and send him to work? <laughs> He's like your little pet husband. Ew. That defeats the purpose of him as a pal. If I'm doing things for him. Okay. What should like? What should you have to do to let your? Uh, pal keep working while you're offline. Like, should you just give it a bunch of food and it has to? It has like a box full of food, and when the box runs out. It gets too tired and can't work anymore for you. Does that sound good? I think it just should naturally get tired and be like, I'm sorry, not on high enough level. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> should we make it so you could get a notification if your pal got tired? Yeah, like your pal has run out of energy. What if your pal is getting harassed by people? Do you want a notification that someone's yes. harassing your pal? Yes, 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 yes. It's urgent, urgent, urgent. <laughs> Wait, not even attacking. I'm just talking like talking to, to it. Oh. Like someone's talking to your pal. I guess I, I thought you said attacking. Harassing. I said harassing and I was thinking verbally harassing. <laughs> <laughs> I think the default should be like, I am not a real person. <laughs> oh, like that's going to be obvious for sure because it's going to be tiny when it starts out. <laughs> it's not going to look like a real player. I think if a person is attacking your pal, you should get an immediate notification. Okay. So that you can go and log on. Can you revive your pal like in Fortnite? No. Just like it can't crawl on the ground and say help no you're having the to like help is already on the help's already the <laughs> notification it's too help late is on the okay way, dear. okay and last question is should your pal be able to have a pal no why not that's too meta for me well here's the next question if you said yes what i would have asked is can your pal that has a pal can that pal have a pal oh, only you would think of something like that <laughs> Um, I say no. I'm a simple... Is that your final answer? Yeah, sorry. I can't promise that. We might have to add that in. I would not utilize that skill. What if you could have... It's like having grandchildren, though. It's like your children having children. That's weird. Who's the mate? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> oh, should you be able to breed pals? So, breed an oil worker with a werewolf. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Or if you could... Okay. <laughs> a flesh guy <laughs> okay so before we sign off here i need to ask if you could breed two pals together and they would actually make a fusion of the two pals which two pals would you breed and i need you to think about this very closely and i'm going to actually show you all the ones okay think very carefully about what you're going to breed together 
<laughs> okay, okay, I have my answer. Um, I would breed together a briar wood and, um, and an oil worker. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just think the what oil would the- workers are so silly. They're like real humans in what- this like fake world. <laughs> What would the result look like? Would it be like an oil worker wearing a funny hat? No, it would look scary. Because I think... Oh, the, with that white mask I thing? Briarwoods are so creepy. They're <laughs> there's really just creepy. oil worker. Just, there's something about... There's villain energy with the Briarwood <laughs> characters. Okay, well, it was a great talk with you. Thank you so much for talking meta with me about Pau Vista. Are you looking forward to pals just as much? Yeah, I'm excited. What's your question? What two would you combine? <sighs> That's a great question. Tori Thug and Volgob. You love Tori Thug? I think they're so cool. I like the colors. Okay. I I, th- I think of them both because I like blue and red. Um, and it would be cool like if it was fire and water, like fusion. I don't know. Oh, it's funny that you like go that route. Because I was just simply thinking cosmetic disaster. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was not thinking about elements or anything like that. Yeah, I was just thinking of the two most unlikely lovers. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, let me, uh, if you don't mind me asking you one more question before I go. Because I actually want to know your thoughts on this. Because you mentioned this subject. Oh, yeah? What are you thinking about? What's so funny? What I just said. Okay. Well, I was talking to someone about the what is the design philosophy of Pau Vista, things that are in Pau Vista. Like, is there any common theme? I want you to, like, if someone's asking you, so what's, like, the theme of Pau Vista? Is it, like, medieval? <laughs> is it uh, futuristic? Like, what would you tell them? <laughs> you can be brutally honest. Brutal. No chick fil <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I think it's... <laughs> eliminate <laughs> all right um i think the theme is um it started off one thing and ended up being <laughs> sorry just be intrusive thoughts is <laughs> it's like i remember he did the nights and then you have with your little mayor. But then it's like, what the heck are all these other things over here? How do knights and a mayor match? <laughs> That's two different eras. I guess because they're, <laughs> they're both human. Okay, but goblins were in the game too, right? Knights and goblins kind of match, right? You kind of gave yourself away by saying, is this medieval? Because maybe that was the vibe you're going for based on, based yeah. on everything. When we first, when I mean, does Ava look medieval to you? <laughs> the farmer. Does Plop look medieval? I, I don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you. If I had a, if I had a somebody <laughs> kidnap me and say, "What's what's the connections?" I would say, "I'm sorry, I don't what's have the, the answer." Theme? Give the word. Your husband gave a password, and it was the theme of Pal Vista. What is it? I would die. <laughs> I, I would it's the password to all the bank accounts. It's the theme of Pal Vista. What is it? I don't know. I think it's like basically like Pokemon fever dream <laughs> where it's like it's true. when you bring up plop, it's like interesting <laughs> from the beginning. It was plop, dead, mayor, Nile, knights and goblins was the first thing yeah. and hoodie and a guy wearing a hoodie. How is that? Ava, Ava was a character that yeah. you got to skate around in and you had to remember when you had, tentacles. The, you had the security guard. Yes, I remember that. That was that was that's way meta. That's way beyond the meta. Super fun. <laughs> you should have something like that again. Well, I guess you do. It's all the NPCs. <laughs> Sorry. We do need to have like a like that that security guard guy yeah. turn into a Pal Vista character. Chases you. Oh, yeah. I guess they all chase. They you. all chase you, but there's something different when it looks like a person of authority. Yeah. When it looks like a person of authority, it's it's, it's a different vibe. <laughs> Literally chase you across the entire map. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, want that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we've come a long way with our understanding of Pau Vista this episode. Thank you for joining us. It's like, okay, how about this? What's the theme of Fortnite? Well, right now it's Greek mythology. So right now it's a space theme for the season of Pau Vista with the... 
astronauts yeah and the lightsaber skateboards mm-hmm. that's cool but yeah i like i just like transcending the theme because then there's no limitation on the design things we can do um i like being kind of a wild wacky world with all these different um era things like a knight and an astronaut which you probably wouldn't see in the same era i don't like going super zeroing down i do like the idea though of having like towns in pa vista where it's like we could have like a medieval town like we have a blacksmithing town coming up for the steel skill but anyway guys that's it that's all we got it is one two three four all right have a great night everybody